I present you one of the best sites to experience the golden autumn. These are the vineyards of Ligelts, a paradise for hiking enthusiasts. Dive into this wonderful landscape nearby the lake of Biel and get to meet one of Switzerland's most charming towns, La Neuville. Strap yourself in and meet a less known site of the canton of Bern. Hello everyone! Hello. Welcome back to my channel Geomographic. In today's video I'm traveling with Doreen. Already for the second time and in today's video we're going to show you a little bit around in this region. We are currently at Ligelz in the region of Biel and the three lakes. If you're new to this channel, I always post videos about Switzerland and Southeast Asia, in particular about traveling and culture. And also please consider taking a look at her Instagram, Doreen Travels. She really posts Beautiful photos. Thank you. So in this episode we show you the vineyards around Ligelz and then we're heading over to La Neuville. The next village. And after that, if we have time, we might even consider going to Le Landron. This video is sponsored by the local tourism board of the region called Jura and Three Lakes. It's a region that comprises the cantons of Neuchâtel, Jura, as well as parts of Bern, Fribourg and Vaud. It's a very underrated region of Switzerland full of hidden gems. Thus, this region might be a suitable destination for many of you who intend to discover new places. Most of you might never have heard of the village called Ligelz, but I'm pretty sure the name of the nearby city of Biel, in French Bien, might ring a bell. Ligelz is only 20 minutes away from Biel and it can be easily reached by car, train, bicycle, boat or even by walk. While the village is very small and explored within 10 to 15 minutes, you should consider hiking up to the vineyards, which is a true gem of this region. I suggest to make your way to the church and use this as a starting point for a hike. With the view over the lake of Biel and the vineyards, you will find yourself in one of the most attractive hiking paradises. The trails aren't really steep, thus this area is a great place for people who prefer taking easy hikes. We just reached a great viewpoint. So here you can see the church and the island St. Peter. Wow, it's really beautiful. What do you think? Very beautiful. Mm. Yeah, this is a really great photo spot. Don't miss this one out. After enjoying this phenomenal landscape with all its vineyards, you should definitely consider visiting the church. This place of worship is one of Switzerland's most iconic churches due to its unique location. The church is not only famous because it's embedded into such a wonderful environment, but also because it's a very popular place for weddings. Definitely, with this surrounding with the vineyards and the vista to the lake, this place can be considered a dream for many who seek to marry. The church can be booked at the municipality of Ligots. The interior was very nice, however now let's proceed to La Neuville. We just arrived at this town, La Neuville. It's really beautiful. It's a very charming town. Mm. So, you've been here before, right? Yes, quite often actually. Oh really? Yes, very often. Good, so let's explore the town together. 
La Neuveville is the first French-speaking town at the shores of Lake Biel, and at the same time the last one in the canton of Bern. Further south would be already the canton of Neuchâtel. La Neuveville charms with its medieval vibe, the very well-preserved old houses and the city wall. The town is full of beautiful buildings and it's also the home to some vintage shops. For example, there is a store where you can buy many paintings, a curiosity shop with plenty of vintage items, and maybe more interesting for the people who are living nearby, a shop with beautiful antique furniture. The town is rather small and quickly explored. Very eye-catching is definitely the main alley with its many flags, as well as with the two fountains and the creek. This is definitely a great photo spot. Otherwise, the upper gate at the Red Tower is another nice spot to take pictures. Then, parallel to the main alley, there are two more that are worth exploring. You should also consider trying the local food in here. Nice would be, for example, this restaurant called Mil Or. It serves really good dishes and the interior is very cozy too. Great would be also this burger restaurant or the new Croix Blanche, especially for sitting outside. Doreen and I, we are now at this cafe New Croix Blanche, the new White Cross. She's having a coffee, myself, chamomile tea, and we are going to enjoy this tart with apricots. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so that's a specialty from here. Yeah, there are many cafes in here, so do not forget trying out the local delicacies. After exploring the town of La Neuveville, if you still have time, consider a short visit at the village Le Landron in the canton of Neuchâtel. It's only five minutes by car, so it's definitely worth to combine it with La Neuveville. Le Landron is even smaller, but also very pretty. It would take you only roughly 10 to 20 minutes to explore this village. So these were the beautiful towns of Ligertz and La Neuville. We've reached the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you did, please give this video a like, leave a comment, share it to your friends. It would be really awesome. Also, don't forget to check out her Instagram. She posts really great travel photos. Doreen travels. Mm -hmm. So also if you're new to my channel then consider a subscribe and well that's it from our side we're going to see each other very soon.